Hi everyone, this is Joyce from Creative Biolabs ADC. Today, I will introduce a brief introduction of antibody drug conjugate. I hope what I provide can help you with your research. All my introduction includes, the introduction, structure of ADC, action mechanism, toxicity risk of ADC, development trend, and what we can provide with you. Since the 20th century, chemotherapy has been the main means of treating cancer, and cytotoxic drugs, for the treatment of cancer have also developed rapidly, as the reason that, cytotoxic drugs can kill rapidly dividing abnormal cancer cells without affecting normal cells. Although, cytotoxic drugs have high anti-tumor activity, they lack selectivity. Although, monoclonal antibodies can specifically recognize tumor cells, their anti-tumor viability is not good, and cannot achieve the effect of tumor treatment. The antibody drug conjugate perfectly binds cytotoxic drugs, to monoclonal antibodies through chemical bonds, and the cytotoxic drugs can be accurately transported to tumor cells by using the specific recognition of tumor cells by antibodies. ADC drugs not only increase the drug concentration in the tumor site, but also reduce the drug concentration in normal tissues and organs, and achieve the anti-tumor effect of high efficiency and low toxicity. ADCs perfectly shows the advantages of high activity of cytotoxic drugs and high selectivity of antibody, and avoids the shortcomings of cytotoxic drugs with systemic toxicity and poor anti-tumor efficacy of antibodies. ADC is a coupling drug that uses specific linkers to connect antibodies to small molecular cytotoxic drugs. Its main components include antibody, linker, and small molecule cytotoxic drug. Among them, antibody molecules mainly play the role of targeted drugs delivery, while small molecular drugs are responsible for the anti-tumor effect. The structure of ADC drugs is more complex, and there are great differences between different ADC drug designs. The ideal ADC drug design needs to consider the following factors. Selection of antibody. The target of antibody was clear, high expression in tumor cells and low expression in normal tissue. The antibody could support a drug loading, and has good pharmacokinetic characteristics and less nonspecific binding. In addition, antibodies are stable, and can internalize into cells. Binding sites, lysine or cysteine residues are generally present at the junction sites, which can be modified for directional coupling. Linker, the linker needs to be stable in circulation, and can be released in the cell, such as release by restriction endonuclease in lysosome, or release after antibody degradation. Cytotoxic drugs, the conjugated drugs need to have a high degree of pharmacodynamics, no immunogenicity, and can bind to the linker through modification and the mechanism is clear. ADC covalently conjugates cytotoxic drugs to monoclonal antibodies through a chemical linker, and uses monoclonal antibodies as carriers to specifically transport cytotoxic drugs to the surface of tumor cells, expressing cancer-specific antigens. Antibodies recognize and bind to specific antigen sites, which will determine the specificity of targeted delivery. When the antibody binds to the receptor on the cell membrane, endocytosis occurs. The linker cleaves in the intracellular lysosome, and releases small molecular cytotoxic drugs. Small molecule cytotoxic drugs play a role in killing tumor cells. In addition to the common ADC drug design mentioned above, some ADC drug designs do not internalize, but release outside the cell, and play a role in the local microenvironment. First of all, Antibody molecules, as biological macromolecules, have the toxicity risk of general biological macromolecules, such as immunogenicity and immunotoxicity, as well as the possible ADCC effect of monoclonal antibody, CDC action, renal basement membrane immune complex deposition, and so on. Secondly, if the antibody selectivity is poor, or the antigen exists in normal tissue, it will cause cytotoxic drugs to be delivered to normal cells resulting in targeted toxicity. Thirdly, if the FC fragment of the antibody molecule still has the activity of binding to immune cell FC receptors, such as FC gamma Rs FC RN, it is easy to bind to immune cells, resulting in the killing of immune cells. Finally, ADC drugs, as exogenous biomolecules, may also phagocytize cells in circulation, 
and enter the cells through cytosolic action, resulting in cell death. The stability of the linker directly affects the non-expected dissociation of cytotoxic drugs. This fragmentation results in the exposure of small molecular cytotoxic drugs in vivo, that is, off-target toxicity. Hydrosone bond can be hydrolyzed under acidic conditions, and is a relatively unstable connector. Disulfide bonds can be hydrolyzed in a high concentration of glutathione in the cell, so it is not easy to fall off outside the cell. The binding of peptide bond is the most close, and the cleavage occurs only under the action of lysosomal proteolytic enzyme. Cytotoxic drugs are commonly used chemotherapeutic drugs in the clinic, and the main toxic effect spectrum of ADC drugs is determined. Because it has been widely used in the clinic, its toxicity characteristics are generally clear. According to the drug type, such as tubulin polymerization inhibitor or DNA damage agent, the toxicity risk can be well grasped. After the antibody and the small molecule cytotoxic drug are integrated into a hole through the linker, drug antibody ratio could significantly affect the toxicity of ADC drugs. The current ADC drugs are generally a mixture of different DAR and the heterogeneity of DAR will lead to uncertainty of toxicity, due to the inconsistency of toxicity caused by different DAR. Unexpected toxicity caused by changes in antibody structure. FDA summarized and analyzed 20 ADC and legational new drugs received, founding that, the toxicity of ADC drugs in animals was mainly hematopoietic system toxicity, hepatotoxicity, and reproductive toxicity and some of them also had skin toxicity, and nephrotoxicity. The toxicity of hematopoietic system, liver and reproductive system is directly related to subcytotoxic drugs, and nephrotoxicity may be the secondary injury of immune response, caused by antibody. At present, traditional no-specific conjugation technology, is often used in the development of ADC drugs, which has many shortcomings such as the final product is a mixture of different drug molecules per antibody, which cannot achieve specific position coupling of drugs. More importantly, it is difficult to obtain uniform data for clinical evaluation. In view of these shortcomings, directional coupling technology has become a hot spot pursued by major companies. By using directional coupling technique, the same number of drug molecules can be carried on each antibody and uniform ADC drugs can be obtained, which is beneficial to the research and evaluation of pharmacodynamics, and can get more stable and effective effect in the clinical. The second trend is multivalent conjugated ADC drugs. In site-specific technology, the number of specific molecules coupled at specific sites is excessively pursued, while the diversity of coupling is ignored. In order to carry out multivalent coupling drugs by practical traditional technology, it is necessary to couple multiple drugs on one antibody at the same time. Because of the oneness of the linked group modified by the antibody itself, it will lead to mixed products, which cannot ensure that each antibody carries different drugs at the same time. This problem can be solved by site-specific technology. When site-specific modification is carried out, a variety of different coupling groups can be designed, which can be used for drug coupling of linker with corresponding groups. Finally, through the diversification of linker to link a variety of drugs, to achieve multivalent coupling of ADC drugs. Our one-stop ADC development service is full-ranged, extending from the starting point, antibody identification and screening, linker and drug selection, antibody linker drug coupling all the way to the final destination, ADC in vitro and in vivo analysis. Also, we have a comprehensive collection of ADC antibodies, linkers and drugs that are ready for use for your option. In addition, we have extended expertise to antibody antibiotic conjugate development services covering discovery, design and synthesis, and analysis.